Right, Chris, let's do some bonus clip content, shall we? Yep. Let's do it. So we have uh, two interesting topics. We'll start with the first one here. Makes sense. Start with the, at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. And Chris, we finally, finally have some confirmation. Finally. Final confirmation on the World Championships. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, an article by the IIHF earlier today. And they've actually updated the logo very quickly as well. It turns out all the stuff we've been talking about, finally... The uh, World Championships this year has been confirmed as being solely played in Latvia. Riga, to be precise. Right, let me take you through the article. The IIHF Council has voted to confirm Riga Latvia as the sole host for the 2021 World Championships, following the decision, of course, to withdraw the tournament from Minsk, Belarus. Uh, they, they cited the ongoing challenges placed by COVID-19, together with the various technical reasons. Is that, did I say technical? Yeah, technical reasons. I've got my webcam in the way, so I can't quite read it. For its decision to keep the tournament in one city, um, with continued uncertainty surrounding the international travel restrictions. Uh, that's not the only reason, IIHF, come on. Uh, the council believe that keeping <laughs> all teams in Riga throughout the tournament and avoiding travel between two host countries is the safest and most cost-effective way to operate the event. They're not wrong, but it's not the only reason. Come on, guys. Um, so the World Championships will take place in Riga under the following conditions. The main venue will be the Arena Riga in Riga, which I believe is where Dinamo Riga of the KHL play, and will host Group B, two quarterfinal games, the semi-final round and the medal round. The second venue will be the Olympic Sports Centre, which will be converted into a 6,000 capacity ice rink and will host uh, Group A and two quarterfinal games. Uh, and then they've got the... Uh, Oh, I'm going to pr pronounce this name awfully. Dugava. The, the, Duga the du Dugava Ice Rink, approximately 10 minutes from Arena Riga. Uh, it's a practice arena with two ice sheets. It's under construction, scheduled to be finished by the end of March. Well, let's hope that's done soon, guys. Um, and then all 16 participating teams will be housed in one hotel. And at present time, there are no updates concerning the game schedule. So, by the sounds of it, they're going to have uh, two ice rinks. Um, two practice rinks uh, is where all the teams are going to practice. Then they're going to have two different arenas. And the medal round is going to be played at Arena Riga. And they're converting the sports center into an ice rink. And that's where the other group is going to be played. So, um... With teams housed in one location and the Arena Riga and Sports Centre approximately 150 metres away from each other, the IHF would be able to implement a bubble concept if needed, which is very helpful, which is absolutely ideal and will make sure this tournament can run as safely as possible. Uh, conversely, should the situation improve to the point where spectators would be allowed, then obviously they can get some people in uh, and get some tickets out there uh, within three days a notice. So, wow, okay, so they could initiate a ticketing situation three days before the event if they wanted to. Uh, of government approval toast fans in venues so yeah um interestingly to point out we have mentioned a few of these um they also examined hosting offers from bratislava slovakia and herning denmark which we obviously rumored about but we now got more specific cities that they were looking into which is good to know um and then uh, rene fassel obviously the man hugging alexander lukashenko i'd like to thank our members from denmark and slovakia for their willingness am i boring you chris <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. i know it's all the technicalities of it um i'd like to thank our members from denmark and slovakia for their willingness to assume hosting duties uh, for the world championships uh, but ultimately the council believes that keeping the whole tournament in one country allows us to be flexible we can find cost effective solutions to implement a bubble concept but we can also put ourselves in a ready position to welcome fans to the world championships if it's safe to do so i've got to be honest chris i think now they've actually decided a place it's good it's the 2nd of february when this was announced they have many months to get everything ready uh we very much said that they needed to come to a decision sooner rather than later and they did it so what are your thoughts they did, yes. Um, so, yeah, my thoughts are that it was probably the easiest and right. Most logical, yeah. Yeah, because, of course, with the quarterfinals, if you had, like, two quarterfinals in Slovakia, you'd have teams having to fly from Latvia to Slovakia for a game and then back to Latvia again. Yeah. Um, so it does make sense to me um, to have it all in one city. The thing I found interesting, which hasn't been mentioned, is that Latvia were concerned and didn't want to host both groups because of financial reasons. Yes. Uh, and now this hasn't been mentioned. So whether the IIHF have just said, oh, well, we'll cover one group or whatever, not sure. Um, or whether Latvia are really going to struggle off the back end of this, we don't really know. Yes. Or, um, or it could be a position where, you know, some of the title sponsors that had been rumoured to be pulling out of the tournament... Um, because it was being held in Minsk, Belarus. They might have decided, maybe they've gone to them, oh, well, we're actually hosting it in Latvia now. We'd really like you to be on board. And they've been like, okay. Yep. So they've got, they've got like an influx of, of cash flow or something maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, these are the teams, these are the uh, the countries, sorry, the Bratislava and Honing that 
uh, applied for it. I joked uh, on text with Chris Ellis uh, again at the weekend. I said, oh, Great Britain not applying for the other hosting then. And he literally <laughs> replied with, well, no point if there's no fans. Which no, is exactly. completely understandable. Like, if you can't make the money from the tickets and the fans, then there's no point. Uh, which I think may have obviously had an impact on a lot of other countries and cities deciding, well, no, there's no point. Okay, can, I, can I ask a um, question? Do, do, could, you, could you look up when, if or when, was the last time Latvia hosted the World Championships? Yeah, I can do that. The reason I ask that is because imagine if this is the only time Latvia got the opportunity to host the World Championships. It's their first time they've thought, you know what? Oh, we've planned this two years in advance. What could possibly go wrong? (laughs) And here we are. (laughs) Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine if this is the only time they host the World Championships in like 40 years? And, you know, like... I I think they probably have... Well, they may have had before. I, I, I would think they have at least once before, right? Because there's enough countries in Europe to kind of keep swapping it around. Because, I mean, how many world yeah, championships I think I have they been? Have to, by the look of it, I think I have to go back for each year individually. Oh, so that's I fun. Well that, but... That's fun. Um, yeah, I mean, if somebody knows in the comments, do let us know. Like, if we have any Latvians uh, watching or listening, uh, do let us know um, if Latvia have hosted the World Championships before. Because uh, how disappointed would that be if this was their first chance to host it and then a global pandemic stops them from getting fans yeah. in the arena? That'd just be the worst. I, I interrupted you, Chris. If you want to carry on, feel free. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what I was going to say. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you, I'm now going back through the years trying to find out if. Uh... <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a good thing that they've decided a place to actually host the the tournament now, because obviously there were some rumours that they might pull it completely from Latvia also. It, it, I'm glad that Latvia have kept the opportunity to be able to host it. And like you mentioned, there was a lot of concern as to whether they'd, it'd be financially viable or whether they'd have the facilities. And obviously, as it currently stands, they don't have the facilities to be able to host the entire tournament. They've had to completely repurpose an uh, Olympic arena. But the good thing is they're very close to each other in terms of their proximity. So it means that uh, 2006. Okay, so we're talking 15 years since they last yep. hosted the World. So the first World Championships in 15 years they've got to host, and there's a global pandemic. <laughs> and and they're supposed to be co-hosting it with Minsk Belarus, and they're having all loads of problems by themselves, and it might be the chance they might not get to host it anymore. Uh, I could just imagine like the Latvian hockey officials are so stressed out about this tournament. <laughs> But anyway, Chris, what what are your thoughts on on, on the news and kind of whether, are are you pleased that Latvia has still got it? What are your thoughts on a potential bubble that might need to take place if if needed? Let me know. It makes sense. Yeah. um, To me, it it, it does make sense. They need it all in one place. Yeah. I'm happy the fact that Latvia is only two hours ahead, which means we can watch most of it. Oh, that's perfect. They're not being hosted in Canada and stuff, you know, like even the... Like, so the, the latest games for them, which is going to start at, what, like 7 o'clock their time, 5 o'clock our time, so we can watch, like, every single game. Okay. Uh, which I think, considering we may well still be in lockdown, I probably thoroughly, thoroughly intend to do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Especially the GB games. Else, can we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, exact, particularly the GB games. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's a good decision. Um, hopefully, Latvia, you know, hopefully they sort of the finance out with it. It does make sense. It means that everyone's in one big bubble. It's always going to be like an Olympic village, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it makes sense. Good decision. And uh, look forward to the World Championships now. Absolutely. Um, I'm glad that, like I said, Latvia have got the chance to keep hold of it. Uh, it seems that, you know, uh, even though they're the, the initial reports that Latvia might not be able to host the situation, it looks like whether it be the IIHF with the Latvian officials or just the Latvian officials themselves coming up with a plan, they seem to have a pretty good plan going here where, you know, everything's super close to each other. They've got the facilities to be able to house all of the athletes very close to the arenas as well. And they've got an idea of where they're hosting each of the different uh uh, levels of the tournament whether it be the medal rounds or the the uh, quarterfinal rounds or the group stage games so yeah good luck to latvia the good thing is they've got some time to make sure their infrastructure is sound and everything's working okay because it happens in may right so they've got what three months uh, that's a good amount of time because like we said the, the ihf needed to make a decision sooner rather than later they've managed to get it done pretty much a week or two after we last talked about it so that's really good to know that you know a fortnight afterwards okay we've got our decision job done so well done yeah, to so the, the 21st, ihf go for it yeah i was gonna say 21st of may to the 6th of june is the tournament but because they're now doing it in latvia as well they've got to just do a slight jiggle to the schedule so yes. they'll, that'll come later 
So it's going to be about three months, three and a half months. That's enough time because obviously Latvia were intending to host it in the first place. It's not the most ideal logistic situation for them to have three and a half months before the tournament. But I mean, three and a half months is a lot more time than a month and a half. So, you know, <laughs> like it could have gone on a lot longer and could have been a lot worse. But congratulations to Latvia and the IHF for finally figuring this out. We've been talking about it since August of last year and we finally got it. So let's be honest, Chris, I think we need to retire this topic until the World Championships actually happens. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, other than I think the only time we need to come at it again is when the schedule's announced. Yeah, so if there's any um, other news regarding Latvia somehow yeah. can't host it anymore. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, now... We know where it's going to be hosted. We know what the situation is. There's nothing more to say. Exactly. So we are not going to say any more. Congratulations to Latvia <laughs> for getting hold of it again. And make sure you design your medals for next year's tournament, like we mentioned last episode. So there you go.